All right, guys, we're back with the M300. We've unboxed it. We've gone through all the little cables and everything, but I don't know about you guys. I want to jump right into the aircraft. So I do already have the legs on here. Very similar design to the M200 uh, in, in, a, in looks, but it actually had these collars on there. We'll go over this in more detail later, but uh, much thicker leg as well. I, I have a little bit more confidence in it at least. Um, and these collars just go up and screw into the airframe, which we'll do here in just a minute. But I'm going to go ahead and I've only done this once, so. I tend to be a little bit more gentle than most people. So these just go on here on the arms. So I would recommend holding on to these suckers because these props do tend to, just like the M600, they kind of tend to flop around. Bubble wrap off. off. that way. So you want to do your front arms first and then your back arms. These are the RTK pucks. These are your kind of your 2.4 or 5.8, the OccuSync Enterprise antennas. So just be mindful of those when you're opening it up. Same process over here. Comes out of the way. Back out there. One of these guys. Bubble wrap off. So like I said, you unfold your front arms first, get the props out of the way. It is a very close uh, tolerance, very tight fit right there, so just be mindful of that when you're opening it. You know, the M300 is not really designed as a quick deploy unit, but just something to be mindful of. All right, so there she is in almost all of her glory. Um, so it's similar to the uh, M200 series, both V1 and V2. You have your arm collars right here, so those go over and lock in. Pretty. Similar design, it feels uh, feels pretty robust. One thing to note is you do have your battery terminal covers on here. I am known for putting trying to put batteries on without taking those off, and it doesn't go very well. The M300 does not ship as of right now. It is pre-launch. It does not ship with TB60 batteries. These are the batteries that you need to fly it. So you will need to determine the number of batteries you want. Back in the day, back in the day, the 200 series would come with two TB55s just automatically in the box. In this case, they don't, so you'll want to tally up the total number of batteries you want, and that's the number of batteries you need to order. Obviously, if that changes after launch, we'll be sure to let you guys know. Um, so I've got TB60s here. The other thing to note is it doesn't come with a payload either, so I'm just going to tease this guy. This is the H20T. So the H20T is one of the new H20 series payloads. The N300 does not come with a payload. It doesn't come with any camera except the one built into the airframe. All right, guys. That's the M300 RTK. Uh, we will be back with more detailed information, talking about all the obstacle avoidance sensors, the auxiliary lighting up and down, built-in collision avoidance beacons, the dual bracket, the single bracket, all the M300 goodies we will be back with very soon. Appreciate you coming by. Catch you next time.